Next up, it may, I'm better now. Next up, <laughs> it may seem hard to believe. It may seem hard to believe, but Malcolm Jamal Warner has been on TV screens for 40 years. These days, yeah, and he looks like 30. Uh, these days, he's checking into the Fox uh, drama The Resident, playing AJ, Dr. AJ Austin. And in the next episode, Malcolm's not only acting, but he's directing as well. Audience, give it up for Malcolm Jamal Warner. How you doing, buddy? Well, I... I... I'm ready to get. I'm ready to get rid of all my social media accounts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you know how it is, Malcolm. These people, it's just when they attack kids, it's awful. It's awful. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the the whole social media thing, like you know, there are some great things about it, but you know, it it also sucks because it allows people to to you know to be bullies and hide behind their keyboards and hide behind their phones. So. Um, I, I call them keyboard crusaders. Yeah, absolutely. When did you, Malcolm? You've been on. You've been on set since what? Uh, I said '84, but probably what '82. You've been on sets for 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 decades. When did the the curiosity of directing kind of hit you? Oh, that was early on. Um, you know, I was directing. I was directing on Cosby. Like that's how early it was. Um, and it was because the show was so, you know, the show was you know, such a phenomenon when it started. Um, you know, I was 14 and my mother sat me down and said, listen, Malcolm, it's great that this show is, you know, the phenomenon that it is, but you know how this business is. This show could be over next year. What are you going to do when this show is over? She said, I can type, I can always get a job. What are you going to do? So I really spent, you know, all of those years on Cosby thinking about life after Cosby. Like I was, I, I was um, almost maniacally obsessed with life after Cosby because I never wanted to be one of those where are they now kids. Yeah. Uh, so the, the, the directing interest really started, uh, you know, really in those early years of Cosby. Well, and that's why we, I mean, you're one of, I, that's why we're talking to you right now. Where, uh, in the episode you directed, Malcolm, this is the sixth season for the show. Where are we uh, w with the plot? If people, you know, maybe missed a few, where are we right now? Um, we are, where are we right now? That's good. Um, <laughs> Kate and Bella got married. Uh, <laughs> after a while, the episodes start to blur because we're, we're overlapping. Yeah. Like, the episode that I was directing, we were shooting uh, two episodes at the same time. So Manish directed an episode before me, actually our 100th episode. So I was literally shooting, I was acting in his episode and acting and directing in my episode and we were shooting them like at the same time. So like, honestly, all the episodes kind of, kind of blur at this point. I, I know you've been asked and, and you hear people say this, oh, um, sometimes being an actor and then and becoming a director makes you a better director. Why is that the case for you? Um, I think for me as an actor, I know, um, you know, look, I've seen a lot of directors uh, who were good, and I work with a lot of directors who, you know, uh, could use some help. Um, so <laughs> for me, um, <laughs> I know how I like to be directed. I know how I like to have things communicated. Um, you know, to me. So, you know, I think there is kind of a shorthand when I'm working with actors, um, you know, because really, like, honestly, a, a big part of directing is communication, how you communicate with people. Because if you talk to people like human beings and, you know, and, and, and treat people the way you're supposed to treat people, then, you know, everyone's going to, they're going to look out for you, you know? So, uh, and especially working, directing a show that you're, that, that you're on as an actor, um, you know, for me, it was, you know, I don't want to say easy, but I think the advantage I had is everybody wanted to see me win. Yeah. Right. Everyone was excited about me coming to direct. Um, everyone loved uh, when I was directing because there's just a, uh, there's a collaborative environment uh, that making television really is. It's, you know, you're collaborating with not just a cast, but you're collaborating with all department heads, with crew, um, and everyone has uh, the same end goal to make the best episode that we can. So, so this, this, this experience on this show uh, was just one of, of, of so much love and support uh, that it really made it a, a very fulfilling experience. Absolutely, can't wait to watch my friend. Continued success, thank you.
Be sure to check out the latest yeah. episode of The Resident next Tuesday night right here on Fox. Or if you're watching us, check your local listings if you're watching from somewhere. Little honest moment here, because again, we're near the same age, same generation. Mm -hmm. It's a trip. You know, we talk, look, I'm very lucky. I never take it for granted. I get to talk to, we get to talk to a lot of people that mean a lot to us, celebrities. It's a trip to talk to Malcolm Jamal Warner because it's a, he's such it's I mean we literally grew up I mean right. you grew up watching the Cosby show and mm -hmm. Thursday nights you felt you know what I mean it's right. just it's a it, Gordon Gartrell I mean I wanted that shirt you know what I mean yeah. thank you thank you <laughs> five people get that Joe that reference well that's fine I wanted that shirt yes. Denise making that ugly shirt <laughs> you know it's fine don't worry about it but you need to be our age but um that was nice. What a, what a good guy. What a good, good guy. And again, it's all about who raised you. He was raised right, it sounds like.